welcome back to another video in this one i'm going to try and transform this engine bay from what it is now with all that like the matting sound editing stuff stuck on the back into an all black engine bay with these materials so i don't know if this is everything that i'm going to need i'm probably going to need more but i got me some automotive primer wax and tar remover and then some cheap ass gloss enamel rustoleum and I'm gonna try and keep it just one stage like that with no clear because eventually brake fluid is gonna get everywhere. Gas is gonna get everywhere because the fuel pressure regulator is gonna be around here. And if I have a clear on it and that base, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to touch up little areas. And like the previous owner did a really bad job taking all these brackets off, a like huge hole right there, little one right there, two decent sizes right there. I need to take these two off. I need to cut this battery tray out for the downpipe to fit down there. I need to cut this off right here. Got rid of the ABS front holder, which I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. And then huge hole right there. Two little ones right there. There's no spot welds held on to this, so. I just cut that side off and then kind of grind it on top and just pulled it off same with this one and then this battery tray got a rough cut i'm gonna come back in with a flap disc and clean up that edge right there and, and then for this one this was the worst one getting this out right here it's easier just to cut it all off i also cut off these two front toe hooks so that i can fit that late model valence on this is everything that I've cut off. I came in with a flap disc and touched up all these spots and got them down to bare metal. There's a little bit of rust there and a little there and there, so I just got it down to bare metal so I can sand it, put some primer on it, and have it be good as new. And hit these with it so that I can get a nice weld on those since they need to be bare metal for that. And then the bracket those up here, I hit it with the flap disc got all this boxed off and got it good and then over here on this side got the big brackets that were there use the flap disc got them all down and over here i can start filling these in with weld and then i could put some bond over it just a skim layer and get it all smooth Got the ABS unit from my convertible on here and I took the bracket from there as well and I have it all bolted in pushed back how I want it to and I have this bolted in right there just to hold it in place so there we go I got it welded all three sides and it's solid so i'm gonna take a piece of this sheet metal maybe a small square like that and just place it behind there and then give it a tack and then try and fill it all in and once i do that i can even just leave that plate back there and just grind all this down and i'll do the same for these and these because i don't like this hole right here i'm gonna end up having a weld like that big if i try chasing my tail around with not putting anything behind it. I'm just gonna spray one side and then the other side you can just take normal primer after it's all welded. The plate is right there. Got them super kicked on with weld because I didn't want any low spots. But now I can come in with the flat disc. I forgot to record the before of this, but there was a little bit of a crack in the seam seal. There was like just a lot of seam seal around this car. So I saw behind the crack and there was a little bit of rust. 
like that like that corner a little bit of rust right there and i just took a screwdriver and started peeling it back and the rust came all the way back to like here surface rust so i'm just go coming in with a drill cleaning all that off and i was having a lot of trouble reaching into that corner right there so i went on and got this little brass wire wheel and i also got some of this because if there are some pieces of rust that i can't reach with that i'm just gonna hit all of that with this So that corner looks good enough to me with some paint over that it'll be fine but now i'm trying to get all this there's like residue here from the stickers from the factory here and there's like those bumps like you can see all over the engine bay there's those bumps so i came in with this wire wheel got some foil to cover my shaft up and now i can spray some of this That's how it came out nice and dry. Added some more up here too because there's a little bit of rust. Hard switch over to a GoPro that I just got and I finally can stop using my phone to record. But now I'm just gonna hit this with some rust reformer. I haven't touched this car in probably two weeks so there was some surface rust coming in. There was also a bit of surface rust back over here so. gonna hit that like that I got that filled in to the best of my abilities so I got the ABS pump in so that I can now try and make the brackets for the late model coolant reservoir so I'm gonna try and make the bottom piece right here out of the sheet metal and just bend it up like that and then back down with two drilled holes into it and then try and fill it in and then for this up here four inches down from the strut tower base right here is where you want the hole to be for this four inches and that is where it's gonna be sitting so I'm thinking about doing this up top first so it's in place stable right there and then I can come in and do the bottom after made a little mark there with the sharpie So now that's bolted in up there. That's how it's sitting. So this piece of cardboard is what I want out of metal. This is the same size as the, it's a little bit bigger as this little piece down here. And then the other two sides are flat. And the main purpose of having this, it doesn't have to be really tight at all or anything, is just so that this doesn't slide out this way forward because there's nothing this is holding it down and kind of like in position and then that'll like secure it into place clamp down right there and now i can just cardboard aided design I got this piece up looking all nice here's a closer look of the bracket right there so now I'm gonna pray that a hole doesn't get blown trying to fill these two welds in Good news, it didn't blow a hole in it. 
but that's an eyesore so this lighting is so horrible it was impossible to weld with it but that's a lot better but now that i got this out of the way i'm so happy i got this done because i didn't know what i was going to do and that solves a lot of it now finally the engine bay is in a state where i can paint prep and then put primer down on everything like there now i know that this is an insanely low spot that's a low spot crazy right there right there there's a crazy low spot here there's one and then it's just this whole area needs to get reworked basically and now that this is bare metal right there even on camera you can see it's a crazy big dent right there and then right here that's the main goal right here this red scotch pad it's gonna come in minutes later it's all scuffed up everywhere and it's all ready for primer basically but everything is scuffed up now I can start doing the body work I hope this paper survives Damn, this shit stinks, bro. So I'm just gonna take that little bit. And just press really hard. Fuck, my fingers are... That's what it's looking like after two days of drying. Nice and clumped up. And then over here, really hard edges. I should have tried making it smoother like down here, but that ain't no problem. I got my 220 grit. You could do like a lot less grit, like 80 grit, but I don't have any. That's ground down nice and smooth. This one is nice and smooth. And then this one up here is, oof. All the body work is how I want to keep it. And I got every little thing that I want to not get painted taped off. Gotta do these, you gotta trim those back ones, but then everything else is good and ready for primer. So, I have the primer sitting in some really hot water right now, letting it warm up, and I'm gonna spray it down with some compressed air and tack cloth. Oh my god, it's so windy. This is so hard to spray.
24 hours later this is what the primer looks like it's a lot better than right after I sprayed it but now I need to come in with the seam sealer and hit down there since there was a little bit of rust here and then also a little bit right here as well but Try and push it in there too. That's a closer look at the seam seal in the engine in the wheel well. It's not pretty, but it's most likely gonna get brake fluid all over it again anyway so and then finally down there I'm gonna go very lightly a lot easier than the primer was. I just did another coat and it looks so much better. gonna give a it's kind of hard with the sun it's like I don't know what you guys can see but it looks so good for what I wanted I didn't want to show car paint status but look at the seam sealer too you can barely even tell there's anything on there but she's looking good Here we go, one final look. I took all the tape off. Those rib nuts are still nice. That right there, and then it's like a few hours later now, everything's dry. And I think it looks really good for a paint, for a rattle can. Just one more look around, because obviously this is the whole point of the video. This is why you guys watched, you wanted to see this. Yeah. Seems to see all that is cleaned on there, fixed. And yeah, looks awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you wanna see this thing driving soon, now that I got this huge hurdle done, finally I can start doing stuff. And here's my Instagram if you wanna see more real time updates. And yeah, thanks for watching.